What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute resistance band stretch. So grab a resistance band or a towel and let's go ahead and get started. What's up guys, welcome to your 20 minute resistance band stretch. If you have a resistance band today, go ahead and grab yours. If, a couple things, if you're looking for a resistance band, I have mine linked in the description of every single workout into my Amazon store. And also, if you don't have one right now and you wanna do this workout with me or this stretch, you can also grab a bath towel, something that's kind of the same length as this resistance band, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started in a standing position. All right, I'm gonna start with your upper body, just a couple movements to kind of mobilize your shoulders and open up your torso and your chest. Okay, so I'm gonna have you fold your band in half, holding onto the very edges. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lift straight up overhead. All right, and in three seconds, I'm gonna have you drop your right arm down to the ground in three, two, one. Here we go, not to the ground, just right out to the side. <laughs> Good, and you're gonna to wanna to lengthen this top arm. So my left arm, I'm reaching out and away, trying to open up right here, my shoulder, and into my tricep a little bit, okay? You don't need to keep arching so far that you lose your control, but just pull over a little bit of tension here and reach over and nice and high. Good, come back up and let's go ahead and switch. So reaching up over top, a little tension down here, Really open up the side of your body from your pinky finger down to your hip. Okay, I've got a nice wide stance for good balance just to make sure I'm not arching over. Here you go, come back up top. We'll go one more on each side. Okay, maybe you can pull a little bit higher up on your band. And try to open up your ribs on this one, okay? There you go. And good, back to the top one more time. Taking it over to the left. And good, all right, bring it back up top and I want you to take your hands out to the very end and then I'll show you how to progress from there if this feels good, okay? Hands out at the very end, your palms are facing forward. All right, and we're gonna open up, reaching back, 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 back. Now, don't think that you have to come all the way down here. If you're not ready for that, don't go down that low. I just want you to reach back and open your chest up, feeling this in your anterior deltoid and your chest. Okay, don't drop down yet. Just reach back. Okay, I'm in a palms up position here. Good, come back to the top. Shake it out for a second. And if you feel good there and you wanna choke in a little bit more, you can. Okay, same thing, go ahead and reach up, back. And I just want you to feel like someone is pulling your hands out away from your body. So you're feeling the stretch all the way from your sternum out to your elbows. Great job, it's okay to let your back arch a little bit here. Good, go ahead and lift your chin up a little bit. Good, come back up to the top. Now, if you can go all the way back, go ahead and choke out to the very ends of your band. I want you to take this nice and slow, okay? If you can go all the way back, go ahead. If not, I just want you to start at your legs, mobilize until you get here, and then come right back up, okay? Let's just go through some mobility work here for the shoulders, making sure that you're keeping an equal lift and lower with both hands. So don't go down like this, okay? Just keep it all nice and equal. You can kind of press out on your band if you're ready for it. Good, let's go one more, bring it back to the front and I want you to stop right here. Good, all right, let's work on the upper back a little bit, okay? So keep your band folded in half just like this or your towel and I want you to step on it. Okay, place it down on the floor, step on it, and then loop your hands through the end or just grab onto the ends, whatever you have, and let's push your spine away from the floor, okay? So you're relaxing your shoulder blades, letting them open, and you're kind of cat backing up top. Let your neck relax and feel your shoulder blades pulling just out and away from your spine. Good, go ahead and relax. 
This shouldn't feel strenuous. It shouldn't feel like you're working here. I just want you to hold on to the band and then arch up and away. Great job. Let's go one more time. Hold on to the band. Lift that middle spine up, 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 up. And relax. Good, good, good. Okay, very favorite tricep stretch. I'm gonna turn around, okay? I'm holding the band for right now with my right hand, okay? I'm pointing my thumb down towards the floor, holding on right here, and I'm just gonna let that drop right behind me. With my other arm, I'm gonna grab the band and I'm gonna pull down towards the floor. Okay, I want your spine to be nice and tall. And if this feels good, see if you can pull up a little higher with that pulling arm and just go ahead and pull a little bit more. Okay, it's a little bit of work for the pulling arm, but it's a really good stretch for the tricep. Good, go ahead and take that straight up and let's just switch hands. Okay, bend the hand down, grab onto it with the other arm and then pull. It's a little bit of work for the pulling arm, but the top arm, whoo, feels good. Good work. And you might find, like myself, one side is a little tighter than the other. This side that I'm on right now feels a little tighter. Let's straighten it back up and go one more time per side. Okay, grab it, bend down, and then grab and gently ease into the pull. Make sure on your pulling hand that your palm is facing forward, okay? And raise it back up and switch one last time. Anyone else feel this a little bit more in the left arm than the right? I definitely do. Good job. Nice big pull down, down, down. There we go, great job. Okay, last upper body move and then we'll hop down to the floor and head into the legs, okay? I want you to grip straight out from your shoulder. So hands are shoulder width apart, okay? You're gonna pull over and across, really stretching the shoulder here, okay? So pulling out with your back arm, letting the front arm reach, 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 and you can even arch it over a little bit. Okay, if you wanna grip closer to your hand, you can pull a little bit more. And good, bring it down and switch, same thing. Great job. And you can kind of play with the angle too, if you wanna go a little bit lower, feel it more right across your chest. Good, one more time each side, pull. And bring it back over, big pull, last one. All right, great job, feels good, right? Come on down to the floor, I'm gonna have you just sit on your glutes first, okay? I'm gonna have you keep this band doubled up and take it around both of your feet, all right? Preferably around the ball of your foot. All right, and you're gonna pull your chest towards your toes. Okay, so don't worry about your toes pulling back or anything, just keep them neutral. And I want you to pull your chest towards your toes and you should feel this right in your glutes and hamstring and maybe even your lower back if that's a little tight. Pull, pull, pull like you're trying to touch your chest to your toes. Good, now watch closely, leave it there, scoot back and relax and push away with your feet and push back with your spine. Let your shoulder blades kind of separate away from your spine. Feel that stretch right along your spine. And good, relax, come back up top. Let's do that same thing one more time. Okay, grab one, I want you to pull your chest forward. Good, reach, reach, reach. All right, here we go, big inhale. 
exhale, slide it back, reach backwards with your spine, push forwards with your toes. Feel that stretch all along your spine, right in your shoulders. Good work. Perfect, all right, come back to neutral. Take one foot out of the equation, I just want you to pull one foot. We're just gonna stretch your calf on this one toe, okay? So just pull back, and you can let it come off the ground a little bit. You can set it on your shoe if you would like. Just pull, pull, pull. Make sure you're not pulling up to where that band could slide off your foot. Pull right back towards your hip bone. And relax, good. Let's go one more time here. Big pull. Kind of think about pulling down towards your hips or the floor. And great job. All right, same thing with the other foot. Okay, you can put your shoe here to kind of get it off the ground. And let's pull back. Great job. A little bit more, pull three, two, one, relax. And last time right here, go ahead. This is something we often don't pay attention to, right? Our calves, our Achilles, our soleus muscle. Great job. All right, there we go. So let's drop the calf down. Here's where if you have a band, we're gonna make a little loop to prevent anything from sliding off. Okay, so I'm gonna put it around the back of my shoe and then I'm gonna take the right side, take it over my shoelaces and around the back again. Okay, and then I've got a loop around my foot and I still have two handles here. Okay, so let's take that leg, lay it on back and we're just gonna straighten your leg out. Pull right up towards your chest. Keep your leg nice and straight and keep the other leg flat on the floor. Big pull. And the higher up on the band you can get, the more you're gonna stretch your hamstring. Keep your hips nice and straight. Relax your back. Shouldn't be crunched up here, it should be nice and relaxed. You're on the floor. Great job. All right, raise it up, shake it out a little bit, back up to neutral or just below neutral. And let's go one more time, okay? We're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. Big pull. That's it. You should be feeling this ease up a little bit. It might be shaking a little, but maybe you're getting a little bit closer to your chest. Round number two, it has eased up a little bit. There you go, five, four, three, two, one, and good. Let's take that band in two hands, same side arm as the leg that it's on. Okay, I'm gonna scoot over here, and you're gonna open it out to the side like you're making a big T. Okay. As you get it out to the side in your T shape, you're gonna pull up towards your head. Okay, keeping this leg flat. And if you're feeling really good about this, you can grab onto the band with your other hand and kind of take it behind your head to pull up a little bit more pendulum clock hands style, right? So you wanna keep your leg flat. If you can advance it up, 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 up towards your head, that's perfect. There you go, relax for just a second. And we'll go one more time here. Okay, so know where you are on the flexibility spectrum. If you're good over here, roll it over, keep the hips flat, keep the shoulders flat. You don't have to be up crunched over here, but if you can, grab it with your opposite hand, pull up towards your head, and then work that foot down towards the ground. We're working on the adductors here, so that inner thigh muscle. Beautiful job. Let's hold here for 10, nine, Three, two, one, 
Great job. Keep the band or the towel on the same leg. I want to scoot back over to the other side here. You're going to come back up to the middle and we're going to cross it over your body. Okay. Hips are obviously going to be off the floor. One of your hips will be shoulder blades. I still want them flat. The same thing applies here. If you can just do one arm, pulling it up to your head, perfect. If you can go two arms, pull it higher and put it behind your head, also perfect. Wherever you're at today, let's go there. And you should really feel this one, honestly, from your tailbone down to your toes. I feel it all the way down the back of my leg. Keep your chest open. Good, go ahead and release it. Back up top, neutral position, shake it out, and we're gonna go one more time. Anyone else feel the heat kind of come in there? Got some blood flow back in? All right, let's cross it over again. Know your flexibility, take one hand to the side, or take two and throw it behind your head, and let's pull. There we go, four, three, two, one. Great work. Last one on this side. You're gonna take the band, keep it on the same foot. You're gonna roll over the opposite hip, okay? As you roll over that hip, bend the top banded leg and then end up on your stomach, okay? As you get there, you're gonna pull over top of your shoulder. And then if you can, grab up a little higher and then come down to the floor with it. You just wanna feel a really good stretch here in your quad. Great work, pull a little bit more. Good, if you can choke up a little higher on that band, go for it. Good, three, two, one, and release the band. And we're just gonna do the same exact four stretches on the other leg, okay? So go ahead and switch that band over to your other foot or your towel. If you created the loop, just slide the loop off, throw it around the other foot, and let's go. Hamstring stretch on the other leg. Grab it up high, pull to your chest. There we go. Perfect. Let's pull a little further. Good job, good job. A little shake out and we're gonna go further again. Big exhale, pull. There we go. This should not be comfortable. It should be, oh, I can really feel the stretch. I can really feel it in my hamstrings. Great job. Back up to the top, let's open it out to the side, straight over, okay? Feel good there, that's fine. If you wanna grab the top part with two hands, throw it behind your head and pull a little bit closer to your head, let's do it. You should feel this one in your inner thigh, right in your adductors. The same, so if we're standing up and we're doing a lateral lunge stretch, one leg is straight, one leg is bent, that straight leg, where you feel it, you should feel it here as well. Good job, guys. Come back up, relax for just a second, and we're going one more time here. Pull it over, open it up. Pull it up like the hands on a clock. Good work. All right, bring it back up top and we're crossing right over top of your body. Okay, so here we go, over in a T. And if you can, two hands, pull high. But let's keep the shoulder blades nice and flat. Good job. Pull a little bit higher. Hold here for 10. Pull, 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 pull. There we go, there we go. 
Good, rest for a second. And we'll go one more time. Big pull for 15 right here. There you go, hold, hold. This is where most people mess up the stretching. They get into it, they feel it, and they let go. We've gotta hold it. Two, one, all right. Let's roll right over onto this opposite hip. Take it to the floor, bend the leg, pull it back, and come up over top of your shoulder. If you can choke up higher, let's do it, and then pull down to the floor with it. Good, relax for just a second. Last 30 here, grab a little bit higher. Pull, try to keep your knees kind of right beside each other so you're not out to the side here. But it's okay if it comes up off the floor a little bit. All right, last big pull. Here we go, grab on, pull down. Great work. We've got five more seconds. Pull, 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 pull. Feel that stretch. Three, two, one, and slowly release that band. Whew. You have made it through your 20 minute band stretch. You can go ahead and come on up to the top. Slowly take your time coming up. And I hope if anything, this stretch gave you an idea of some better ways to hit those muscles. Hamstrings, adductors, glutes, quads, your shoulders, your back especially. We have a hard time kind of getting away from the back to stretch that. So I hope this gave you some good ideas. Keep using them. The stretching is not a one-time cures all. Just like strength training, one day a week will not get you stronger. Resistance, or, or sorry, stretching, one day a week will not get you a little more flexible, a little more mobile. It's gotta be daily. It's gotta be something that you can actively include into your routine. And unlike resistance training, stretching can be done every day because you don't have to necessarily recover from it. Okay, it's not putting a whole taxing system on your muscles, it's just helping you move a little bit better. All right, so daily, if you can give me five, 10, 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna benefit greatly and you're gonna see your mobility improve drastically. You're also gonna see your muscle activation improve. Example, if your hips are tight, it is a lot harder to get your glutes to activate for the extension reason in the hips. If your glutes are tight, or if your hips are tight, it's gonna be hard to get the full squeeze of your glutes because your hips are really pulling right here, right? So that's just one example of it being really important that you include mobility, okay? We need prime muscle activation. We need full ranges of motion to get into those movements and to get those muscles fully contracting. And I know you're gonna benefit from it in so many more ways as well, but that's just one example, okay? So thanks for being here today. If you're interested in a band, I have them linked in the description below, but let's keep moving, guys, all right? Let's have a great week ahead. Thanks for spending this time. Go ahead and share the video. Make sure you're subscribed and comment below and let me, let me know if you feel better like I do. <sighs> have a good day, guys. <laughs>